What are they doing? They are cleaning. Excellent. What is he doing? He is doing laundry. Great. What am I doing? I am hanging up laundry. Okay. <laughs> Look at that, Brittany. That's awesome. Hi, everyone. Today, I want to show you a fantastic online website where you can create games for your online classes. The site's name is Bamboozle. And today, I'm going to show you how to get into the site, how to create your games, and how to make it fun for your online classes. I will also show you how to play it with the students. Okay, let's jump into it. Bamboozle, it's with two A's, and you can search for it, and then go into Bamboozle. Two A's, and uh, it's a great site. You can use it for free. So, for example, if you go here, you can choose from games to use. If I want to search for something, let's search for sports. It'll give me a lot of sports games that have been made already. You can see there are 32. This is one about states. Okay, this one, um, 28. Let's check this one out. I haven't done this one before, so let's do it together. So here you are in here uh, as the teacher. You can see here are the questions and the pictures that go along with it. So let's say play. It asks you... How many teams do you want? Let's say you've got three or four teams or uh, just two teams. Let's make it three teams. And you can also pick how many questions they get. Let's make it nine. Okay. And then you choose uh, some options here that you have. Uh, points for effort, a timer. You can give a pass button. You can make it colorful. If they have wrong answers, do they get penalized? That's something you can do. And you've got these different ones, classic, classic junior. Let's just go with quiz only. So it starts team number one. They have to pick a number, nine. What's your, what food? Delicious, nice favorite, check. What's your favorite? Okay, and they get 20 points. So you can say how many points they get. Team two, five. What are they doing? They are canoeing, I'm guessing. A kayaking. Same thing. Okay. There we go. We've got this nice gift that says who won. It's game over. Congratulations to Team 2. And you can also review it. There are lots of free games that you can use. But you can also sign in and create your own game. So I'm just going to keep myself signed in. Let me show you how to make some games. Today, I'm actually doing a lesson on chores. So let's do a game about chores. What is it about? Um, it is present continuous about chores. Oh, okay. Make game. Um, now, you can write in a question, what is he doing? You have to go and look for some images. Now, what I would suggest is if you already have images from the book, you can use that. You can just screen grab it and then cut and paste and use that. Or just go onto the internet and find some. You can search for some images that you need. For example, um, washing. Let's say washing on some images and let's just take this one it doesn't matter if it's copyrighted it's just uh, if the students know what it looks like uh, what else do we need maybe uh, one about cleaning let's make it cleaning I want people cleaning let's take these people and oh, let's take the, this looks better okay so let's save the image the file then you want to make your questions. What is he doing? Answer. Uh, let's first get the file. Search. Take this. He is doing lawn three. Okay. We save this one. How many points? Let's just make it 10 points. Save. Um, and you'll see the picture here. The next one. Um, let's get the file uh, here. What are they doing? They are cleaning. And points, 10 points, save. So you've got that second one. You can even make it a lot of fun by adding yourself. Um, I took a picture of myself just doing something 
very quickly. I'll add this. What am I doing? What am I doing? So that they can practice he, she, they, I. I am hanging up laundry. I am hanging up laundry. We save it. That's 15 points. More points than it should be. There we go. Where is my picture though? Ah, there we go. And then at the end, you just go and you say save and then you can close here. Once you've closed, you've got the game. Now you can play it. Let's say I've got two teams, quiz only. Uh, team one, what is this? What is the girl doing? The girl is sweeping. Okay, 10 points. What are they doing? They are cleaning. Excellent. What is he doing? He is doing laundry. Great. What am I doing? I am hanging up laundry. Okay. <laughs> Look at that, Brittany. That's awesome. Taehyung, pick a number. Uh, three. Three. What are they doing? Uh, they're cleaning in the house. Excellent. They're cleaning the house. Nice. Okay. Uh, Chang Huan, pick a number. Five. Five. What is your dad doing? My dad? My dad taking out the trash. Excellent. My dad is, is taking out the trash. Okay. My dad is taking out the trash. Taeyong, pick a number. Uh, seven. Seven. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, Eric is doing laundry. Uh, I am doing laundry. I can also say I am hanging up laundry. I'm hanging up laundry, yes. Uh, okay. I am hanging up the laundry or Eric is hanging up the laundry. Six. Six. What is the family doing? They are working on the dog. Excellent. So actually, there are two answers we can use. We can say they are walking the dog because they are many. So if you have many, you use are, but the family is only one. So we can say the family is walking the dog or we can say they are walking the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see? Bamboozle is a fantastic game if you're teaching online. I highly suggest that you use it in the classroom. As you can see, I quickly made a game in five minutes and it's going to focus on chores and also the present continuous. I hope you try this game and uh, your students enjoy it.